Penghu, a remote paradise off the west coast of Taiwan Main Island, is an archipelago and is the only county surrounded by ocean. Marked by much natural scenery, one can find romantic and unique venues not only found on the main island of Megong, but also on the many peaceful smaller islands within the region. If you love the ocean, the sun, and nature, Penghu is definitely a great place for you to visit. Hello, my name is Rebecca. And my name is Jason. And, and we, we are, are Team JR, JR from, from Vancouver, Vancouver Canada. Canada. Our mission was to find romantic places suitable for couples and family in Penghu County. And our first stop was Chimei Island, located in the south of Penghu County. Chimei is covered in lush green fields, inhabited by numerous endearing goats, and it is possible to ride around the island on a scooter within an hour or so. A must-see attraction is the Twin Heart Stone Weir, a heart-shaped fishing trap built with stones located just off the beach to the north of Chimei. The water within the heart structure often appears turquoise. This beautiful color combined with the shape of the structure ensures a romantic setting for wedding photography. On the largest Penghu Island in the city of Megong, one can find unique bed and breakfast to stay at, or at least to take photographs of, on the way to Sunshui Beach. One such memorable bed and breakfast is designed in a colorful Moroccan style. Each of the luxurious rooms contains unique decor, and two rooms even feature outdoor hot tubs on the patios, complete with wonderful views. We were lucky enough to be given a tour of the bed and breakfast by one of the friendly staff members and provided with afternoon tea as served to guests. The other bed and breakfast we visited was built in a Greek style. This bed and breakfast also featured beautiful comfortable rooms, each with a different theme, as well as environmentally friendly solar heating. A large grassy gated garden can be found at the front of the building, as well as a coffee shop and gift shop and the garden is perfect for children or pets to play in. Sanchui Beach, located in the south of Penghu Main Island, is one of the nicest beaches we have ever visited. The sand is white and fine and clean and covered in exquisite shells, and the water also clean and very clear. Many people took advantage of the warm weather to spend time swimming, playing frisbee, sunbathing, taking a walk, and simply enjoying the company of friends and family. We visited the beach at sunset, making it a particularly romantic venue for couples. After sunset, one romantic place that many couples visit is the Rainbow Bridge, located in west downtown Megong City. The multicolored lights of the bridge reflect into the water below, making it a picture-perfect romantic venue. Sometimes you may find outdoor concerts in the neighboring park and night market vendors off the side streets nearby, creating a lively atmosphere within a beautiful setting. One of the most enjoyable things to do in Penghu is to take a road trip on a scooter. Scooters can often be rented from the bed and breakfasts. Penghu is picturesque everywhere you go, surrounded by green fields, trees and the ocean, all under a sunny blue sky. In the countryside, the streets are very quiet. We traveled from Megong all the way to CU Lighthouse, passing over the Great Penghu Bridge. The trip in itself was just as enjoyable as visiting various destinations along the way. Penghu Old Street, located in the heart of downtown Megong City, contains many artisan shops and is an interesting place to visit. The architecture is of a traditional Taiwanese style, so you can feel like you are back in time. It is a good place to buy local Penghu snacks, traditional clothes, and unique do-it-yourself coral reef souvenirs. Penghu is famous for its pearls. Even Michelle Obama wears a strand of them. So it was essential that we visit a pearl store. At Wish Paradise, a variety of beautiful jewelry is sold. One interesting gift set includes a real whole oyster in a tin, a pendant, and a chain. One must open the can, remove the oyster, open the oyster and remove the pearl within, wash the pearl, and insert it into the pendant before placing the pendant on the chain. Oysters are x-rayed in advance to make sure they do contain a pearl, but the color of the pearl is a surprise. You won't find out until you open the oyster. Each color of pearl represents something different. We were lucky that we got a lavender pearl, which symbolizes love. Therefore, if you come to Penghu, a pearl necklace is definitely a great souvenir 
and I can attest that this makes an especially good gift for girlfriends. We had a wonderful trip and hope you will decide to visit Penghu to see for yourself what it has to offer and what a beautiful place it is. Thanks for watching the film and please vote for Team JR.